Welcome everybody, it's Junk Dump here, and this week we're going to talk about Oldsmobile cylinder heads and how to block those exhaust crossovers. But with everything, safety first. This is a template that I made of the crossover passages that I used to make these block off plates. These are chain links made of 3 8 steel that I'm going to use to make these plates. And start off the whole process by tracing out your template. Now I'm going to rough cut those steel plates to form. This isn't a modification that I recommend for street cars, or especially cars that are going to be run year-round in cold weather. Once you've completed your rough cuts, now we're going to take a grinder and grind that shape even more precisely. The tops of those crossover passages have an angle on them, so you'll need to grind a 50 degree angle on one side of your plug. Be sure to keep checking your fitment, and once it sits in about an eighth of an inch or so, your fitment is good. And next I'll carry out the same procedure for the other plug. And the fitment for this one looks great. I place a thick washer beneath the magnet in between the magnet and the plug so that I get my depth the same on both sides. Just make sure that you do have some depth in that plug. Now I tack the plugs into place.
Now I'm going to weld the plugs into place a little pieces at a time. Now I'll perform the same procedure on the other side. And remember, this time, and thank goodness, that uh, it doesn't matter how good your welds look, this is about penetration and having good, good solid welds. Um, these, in this case, I mean, these are some of the worst welds I've ever put down, but they're going to function and that's what's important. Now I'm just going to scrape away some of the splatter that ended up on the mating surface. Now I'm going to grind these welds lower than the mating surface so that they don't interfere. I then puddle up WD-40 to check for the leak. You can tell that there's a leak through the plug if the oil starts draining down. And now I'll finish up the welding and then grind them flat.
with this modification, it's very easy to go back on it because all you have to do is drill a hole in the plate if you decide you want the crossovers again. You can even tap them and install removable plugs if you want to take them in and out later. While we're here, now is probably a good time to plug up those air injector holes. Quarter inch NPT plugs will plug these holes perfectly. And that's one way to block the exhaust crossover on Oldsmobile cylinder heads. Thanks again for watching, I appreciate it.